Hey, it's Rihanna. Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. I'm super frustrated I'm gonna, and I'm gonna vent for just like one second. Okay, so a couple weeks ago, I got a subpoena for a guy. I searched my database. I've never served him before. Cool. Call dispatch, leave a message, never calls me back. This happens. I leave a couple messages, whatever. Um, I go serve a subpoena last week and I asked the sergeant if he could look him up for me and figure out what location he's at because he's not returning my calls. Sergeant looks him up, tells me he's at Will Clayton and he works nights, cool beans. Um, so I called the secretary at Will Clayton yesterday and was like, hey, is this deputy still at this location? Yes. Still nights? Yes. Is he on duty tonight? Yes. Cool. So I drive out to Will Clayton last night. I only have like two more days to get this guy, basically. Um, so go out to Will Clayton, out there waiting. One of my deputies that I usually talk to comes, you know, he's coming in to his shift or whatever. I stop him in the parking lot and I'm like, hey, can you tell deputy so-and-so that I need him? And he was like, he's not at this location. You've served him before. And I told you last time that he was at station eight. And I was like, um, I didn't serve him before, but dang it. Okay, cool. So I called dispatch and I'm like, can you please leave this guy a message and like CC his sergeant because he hasn't returned any of my calls and like, I need to get him served. So she, she says that she does. And she says that she like CCs his, um, his sergeant. I didn't hear from anybody last night and I just pulled up my excel spreadsheet to like double check that i've never served this guy before i've only served one guy out at the new station station eight and it was not this guy so if come to find out this guy that i'm looking for is at will clayton and he was on duty last night i'm be mad bro i'm be real mad um so yeah usually like 95 percent of the time my job is super easy but it's ones like this that like stress me out because if I don't get it done I'm gonna have to do an affidavit and I'm gonna have to like basically explain everything that I did to try to do my job and wasn't able to um but anyways so yeah I'm fixing to go serve a subpoena another one <laughs> a different one and um, I have a grocery order and um we have a cold front coming in again which I'll know how much I hate that and I really need to get my toes done, but I've been putting it off. So yeah, it's just gonna be a normal vlog, vlogging day. So I am back on keto 100%. I, we've been like slacking and just kind of living our life. And um, I felt so bad over the weekend because I was like having a little bit of carbs here, a little bit of you know sugar here. And it's just been making me feel really awful. So I told Jonathan, I was like, this is it. I have to get back to 100%. Anytime that I have sugar, my body hurts. Like it physically makes me like very sick and uncomfortable. Now I can eat like carbs in the complex form, like in an actual food product that is a carb, like potato, um, corn, a corn product, a potato product, stuff like that doesn't really hurt me. But if I eat something sweet, it's essentially just straight sugar, um, I will have like physical pain. So um, yeah, Sunday was, I was very uncomfortable. And yesterday I was like, okay, 100% keto all day. Let's do it one day at a time, one day at a time. So I got, um, I got the check mark for yesterday. I completed one day of keto and I'm gonna go for another day again today. And I did fast, I think about 16 hours yesterday. Um, so I'm gonna try again today. And yeah, I'm just gonna take it one day at a time. That's my goal, one day at a time. In my car, as you can see, it's a terrible, ugly, nasty, rainy day. But the good news is, is that it's not cold. It's in the 60s, so it doesn't feel awful. Um, just got back from serving this two subpoenas, um, both of them at the same location, not the one I was complaining about earlier today, 
so I don't know what's gonna happen with that one I'm gonna need to email the guy that gave it to me um and let him know that doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to get it but I decided to come have lunch at Caroline's I don't know there it is right there Caroline's my little keto restaurant that I love so much and then from there it's grocery pickup so let's go in and eat I think she has some really yummy uh, Valentine's Day treats um, so I'll be sure to show you all those um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna get the lunch special today is a turkey burger doesn't really sound like anything that I want and one last thing I don't have my umbrella eh. okay let's go inside look how cute our little clapboard signs are have your cake and eat it too and then this one gobble till you wobble You knew I was coming? <laughs> it's a shoe. It's a shoe. <clears throat> I almost forgot to vlog this, but this is actually ended up being what the special was today. It's the stacked enchiladas with a salad. Um, so, so good. It's like loaded with chicken in there. It's very, very good up my groceries from Walmart here is everything minus a 40 pound bag of bird seed that is out there um, super excited because my Walmart's finally carrying the cardboard chips so I literally just put it in the basket to see if they would pick them up they did so thumbs up tampons fiber um, our um, picante sauce Parmesan cheese, I don't think I meant to get that, but here it is. Minced garlic, Lily's chocolate chips, ranch dressing, peanut butter, a ranch packet, chicken breast, four things of cream cheese because I was tired of running out. Cauliflower, the strawberries were on sale so I got two of them. Bacon, sour cream, butter, queso fresco, and some lunch meat, and then there is a 18 count of eggs over there. I almost forgot about these in my car, so as y'all know, I went to Carolyn's and she gave me, so she gave me this, which is a slice of her giant Swiss roll, but then she gave me this. Y'all, check that out. It's four servings, but it's like a, I mean, it's like a humongous slice of cake, but it's four servings and it's one net uh, per serving. Doesn't that look delicious? Oh my gosh, I think I want to try a bite of both. Pop it open. Ow. Hold on. Can't do it one handed, guys. There we go. Ooh. Ooh. Swiss cake roll first. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. How does that taste so much like a Swiss cake roll? That is amazing. Let's try the strawberry. It's so thick. Honestly, she says it's four servings, but I think that's like eight. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to eat this before it goes bad. So besides the food, the company was great. Got to talk to Caroline for a little bit. I also got to talk to Rebecca. Um, she's Keto Ninfim. I'll leave a link to her Instagram down below, as well as Caroline's information. She's got two shops, um, the main one in Tomball, and now this new restaurant in, um, in Spring, I think it's technically called Spring. But yeah, I got to see Rebecca. I haven't actually um, seen her in several months, um, her and the baby. So I got to hang out with them for a little bit before I had to go pick up groceries. Um, the weather's finally cleared up. The sun is out, so that's great. I think I'm gonna, I have a Yeti full of tea and I'm gonna sit on the couch and I might take a nap, maybe. Y'all know that I'm like a champion napper. So I might take a nap, um, cause I'll probably just doze off watching TV, that's what happens. And then I will check back in with y'all later. Oh, I started dinner in the crock pot. I am making cracked chicken, chicken breast, uh, cream cheese, 
ranch packet. Good stuff. So yeah, that's all that's going on right now. Dinner's ready. Um, came out a little bit more soupy than normal. Uh, it was actually even more soupy than this, but I added a little bit of sour cream, um, maybe about half a cup, and that thickened it up a little bit. I think I might have added a little bit too much chicken broth. I think I only supposed. To, I think I was only supposed to add eight ounces, and I added like a whole can. But oh well, still tastes good. That's all that matters. Jonathan's still not home yet. It's like 7:45. Yeah, it's exactly 7:45. So I'm eating because. I'm tired of waiting. I'm hungry. An update on that one subpoena that I tried to get last night that I vented about this morning. I did message um, the guy that sent it to me and he went ahead and just paid me for it and told me to send him an affidavit. So I guess I'm not working on that one anymore. And yeah, that's about it. Just waiting for Jonathan to get home and I'm gonna go sit down and eat and I'll probably wrap up the vlog when we go upstairs. I don't know, but he did like five laps at least. So apparently Jamal, Jonathan's boss, busted his buns today. This is the video recording. Oh! Ow. Did it hurt himself? Well, apparently his hip is swelling and yeah. Hopefully he's okay. Yeah. Alright guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the vlog for the day. I hope you had a good day. Um, that was, that was good. That was good. Subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to click the thumbs up button and I will see you guys next time. Bye! I have made this recipe many times on my vlogs. I've showed y'all pretty much like step by step already, but I have